Now, millennials uh, continue to be the favorite whipping post of publications that pander to older Americans. Now, uh, there's, of course, and you've probably seen it, article after article about millennials. They killed this industry or killed the other industry. You know, we're killing Applebee's and Buffalo Wild Wings and we're killing oil and gas because we don't want to work there. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, we're killing the diamond industry, industry because we're not buying diamonds anymore. You know, why are millennials buying diamonds? Uh, we're killing the housing market because we can't afford houses. We're killing napkins, marmalade. Oh, my God, we've even killed brunch. <laughs> Article after article, right? On and on, right? Yet at the same time, there are people out there that are accusing us of spending too much on things like avocado toast. Okay. So interestingly enough, if we're killing all these industries, but not spending at these industries, well, where are we spending our money? It's not like you can spend all your money on avocado toast or uh, Starbucks. Well, the answer to that is... Okay, well, look at, well, well, let's look into the answer. Now, for one, it's painfully obvious to a lot of people that, they're, uh, that we're not able to save up for retirement. I don't have a retirement fund. I don't know any millennial that has a retirement fund. I'm sure there are millennials who are able to save, and good for them. But I think a lot of us are stuck in the boat of we can't afford to save money because we don't have that money. Now, the studies uh, show that millennials are not saving for retirement. We can't even save money for emergencies. Okay. So where is our money going? Well, it turns out it's also not going to vacations or homes or cars or retirement or marriage. You know what millennials, millennials are spending most of their money on? Bills. Yes. Bills. Paying bills. I know, right? It turns out millennials are actually responsible. Who knew? A new, according to a new study by Bankrate, millennials are actually spending significantly less on vacations and more on bills than previous generations. In fact, millennials uh, are more likely to spend on groceries, gas, or other necessities than on entertainment. Now, the study shows that average millennial spends just shy of $800 on groceries each month, which runs about $50 more than what older adult generations spend. So... They're spending more on groceries, which means they are eating at home. But wait, while they are eating at home more, they're also eating out more. Now, that's very interesting. Now, uh, let me get to the numbers here. Overall, millennials spend 15% more or an extra $2,300 than the other adult generations on food, groceries, and eating out. So those are combined. Gas and cell phone bills. So again, we're spending more on food and gas and bills. Not vacations, not homes, uh, and not any of these other things, right? Not maybe on avocado toast, but probably not that much. So while we're doing that, by the way, that leaves us less money to spend on travel or television. Now, number one, I don't spend that much money on television. In fact, fuck television. It happens to be super expensive and there's no a la carte mode. That's why a lot of people, of course, go to streaming. But nonetheless... We're actually spending less, less money on that, too. Now, as far as vacation goes, millennials are reported to be spending about nineteen uh, uh, $1,900 a year on vacation, as opposed to older Americans that spend more than $2,600 a year. Again, for TV, uh, we spend less, uh, uh, at least $40 less per month on TV. So there's this idea, though, that millennials are irresponsible. It turns out that, according to the data, we're actually not uh, it's actually not true. According to bank rate credit card analyst Robin Sachs, Frankel, uh, uh, she says, millennials are typically more debt averse than older generations and they're less likely to buy now and pay later like the generation before them. So that it, look also explains why they don't get a house. Well, it turns out you have to have uh, a lot of money. You have to borrow a lot of money in order to buy a house. Millennials, they're not interested in doing that. There's a couple of reasons why. Number one, student loans. Many millennials, she says, are saddled with student loan debt, leaving them little financial wiggle room to afford vacations, as well as houses. <laughs> so now she says as millennials get older and start to have family, uh, their spending will increase on everyday bills like groceries and gas. Now, I think those, that's important. Uh, the student loans issue, that's over a trillion dollars right now. A lot of people that are, very, are struggling in order to pay off their student loans. 
Some people with thirty, forty thousand, a hundred thousand dollars in debt. Yes, most of their money is going to servicing that debt. That's why they're not getting married. That's why they're not getting houses. That's why they're not getting diamonds. Okay. So, and look, another reason that millennials are having are spending so much money on bills is because stagnant wages. I mean, think about it. We're actually getting paid less than our parents have. And we, we get less benefits from our work. We've got much more student loan debt. And so, of course, these things, these optional vacations, we're not doing it. People are opting to either be work martyrs and never take time off. Or if we do, it's usually a staycation. So, and it's a staycation where we don't spend a lot on watching TV. So, and of course... Also, let's add in the fact that a lot of millennials have now have the uh, trouble of balancing more than one job. So when it comes to eating out, look, we may be killing Buffalo Wild Wings, but McDonald's seems to be doing pretty well. It's because you don't have a lot of time in between two jobs in order to grab lunch. You can't go home and really make lunch within that time frame. And you can't really do, uh, you know, spend time at a sit down restaurant. So there's that. Um, so look, the point of this study uh, is to point out that millennials are not spending nearly as much on fun shit as some people would believe. We're not living it up like entitled snowflakes. We're actually being very mu much more responsible than a lot of people are giving us credit for. And yes, we are eating out and we are buying more, uh, spending more on groceries and we're spending more on phones. Let's be honest about that. I mean, phones are expensive, smartphone, and sure, you can criticize us for spending time on our smartphones. How else are we going to be connected to the internet where there's a lot of knowledge uh, and also helps us get jobs. It helps us do a lot of planning, helps us keep uh, in touch with our family, stuff like that. Okay, look, you want to make fun of uh, millennials for spending more on phones than uh, people who are older? Okay, have at it. <laughs> We can go back and make fun of you for always burying your nose in a newspaper. Same thing. But the whole point is, is that a lot of this stuff is because of factors like student loans, declining wages, and lack of good jobs and opportunities. And so that's why we're putting off houses, not doing vacations, putting off marriage, uh, and, you know, spending more on just the basics because we don't have enough to really pay more than just the basics. I mean, look at the high standard of living in places like New York and LA and, and, and SoCal. Okay. It's expensive. Now I'm lucky enough to not live in any of those places so I can actually afford certain things. But nonetheless, what the point of this whole thing is, is that because of all these different factors combined, we spend less on fun things and more money on bills than the previous generations. And get paid less. So when somebody is claiming that millennials are just doing nothing but having fun, show them this study and tell them that they're wrong. Because they are. And the facts back us up. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.